the South African football community was surprised when Malefe Nseki was chosen as the new head coach of Kaiser Chiefs. Many expected Nasreddin Nabi to take over, especially after his successful coaching stint with young Africans in Tanzania. However, negotiations with Nabi's representatives fell through, and Nseki was given the job instead. Some people were unhappy with Nseki's appointment because he has no previous experience coaching in the top South African league, PSL. Additionally, some view him as a failure because he was fired as the coach of the national team, Bafana Bafana, when they failed to qualify for the 2021 AFCON finals. In this video, we will discuss six reasons why Nseki's appointment is good for Kaiser Chiefs. The first reason is that Nseki is familiar with the weaknesses of the previous coach, Arthur Zwayne. Chiefs had their worst season in the PSL era, losing 12 league matches, which led to Zwayne's dismissal. Nseki worked behind the scenes at the club and understands Zwayne's shortcomings. He aims to avoid those mistakes and transform the team into a competitive and trophy-winning side. The second reason is Nseki's experience. Unlike Zwayne and his assistant coach Dylan Shepard, who had no prior head coaching experience, Nseki has been coaching since 1998. He has achieved promotions and led teams in professional football, including being the coach of Bafana Bafana from 2019 to 2021. The third reason is that Nseki has a good working relationship with Zwayne. Previous coaches had difficulties working with Zwayne, which contributed to the team's struggles. Nseki and Zwayne have worked together before, as Nseki brought Zwayne in as his assistant during his time as Bafana Bafana coach. Their collaboration aims to bring back success to Kaiser Chiefs. Before we discuss the fourth reason, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. The fourth reason is the timing of Nseki's appointment. The decision to replace Zwayne was made just a week after the team began pre-season training, giving Nseki enough time to prepare for the upcoming season. He can introduce his playing philosophy and test the team's readiness through friendly matches. A new coach often motivates players to impress and secure their places in the starting lineup. The fifth reason is related to funds and investment. The main reason Nabi couldn't be hired was his demand to bring in his own expensive technical team. This would have required releasing or relocating the current technical staff and negotiating contracts with Nabi and his team. Choosing Nseki was a more cost-effective option for Kaiser Chiefs, allowing them to allocate funds to sign high-quality players who can improve the team. The sixth and final reason is that Nseki has a point to prove. He has a successful track record as a coach in youth international football and is well respected as a FIFA youth football instructor. With the resources available at Kaiser Chiefs, Nseki has the opportunity to end the team's nine-year trophy drought and establish himself in the PSL. Thank you for watching our video. Please remember to like and subscribe.